the head of the show, our producer asked Jules to give us his top 10 uh -huh. treble winners ever rankings. Okay. I can't remember half of these things. Fortunately, Jules can. <laughs> uh, Jules, take us through it then <laughs> from, from number 10. All good music. Oh, hello. Yeah, I mean, listen, they're all amazing achievement, of course. It's, the treble is, is very unique because not many teams have done it. As we said, it's something very special. So I don't want to diminish the merit of one or the other. I just try to look at it all through each season, what they, how they did in the league, how they did in the domestic cup and in the Champions League, how well they did, the games they lost, things like that. So, just, you know, bear with me. Don't don't throw too much abuse at me on social media or anything. And we all disagree, which is the beauty of those, you know. So, in 10th is PSV Eindhoven. I think this one was the easiest simply because they didn't win a game in the quarterfinals, in the semi-final, in the final, or where draws, or where penalty wins, or away goals. So I think they're there. They had a really good season, of course, and they're good hitting, but, but yeah, they, they, they're in 10th. I think I put Celtic at 9. Um, Ajax, 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 the 72 at nine. Ajax team, so, because they were, they were so dominant, and they were, they were so good with Johan Cruyff, the, the opposition, and at the time, remember, it was the European Cup, oh, only one team per music. country, one <laughs> club per country, so it was certainly not as tough as in recent years in the Champions League. Um, I've had, so... The Celtic are eight. So I had, I had quite low, the, yeah, the Barcelona 09 team, um, and because, Mostly because of the Chelsea semi-final, I have to be honest here, uh, where they went, that, that Chelsea were the better team in the first leg and in the second leg, especially at Stamford Bridge. Remember the DJ Drogba, disgrace, etc. The Iniesta goal at the last minute when Barca had nothing in that game. It was a great Barca team, and they then won the final, obviously, against United. But even in the league, it was the first season of Guardiola and things were not fully in place. I felt, for example, that the 11 team was much better, but they didn't do the treble, of course. They didn't mm. win the, the Copa del Rey. So that's why maybe they're a little bit low. Inter in sixth with Jose Mourinho, because that semi-final against Barca really was, was the key moment in that season. Before that, they didn't do well. They didn't play well in the group stages of the Champions League. For example, they drew their first three games and they lost to Barcelona in the group stages. Then the last 16 and quarterfinals were a bit underwhelming. And then, remember, it was when the, um, the ash cloud from Iceland and Barca could not travel the way they wanted to Milan. It was, this was weird. Then they controlled the final against Bayern, but uh, with, with Roma in the league as well, it was really tight. So I put Milan, uh, Inter and Mourinho in six. In five is United and Ferguson because that final is a miracle, really, how, how they won it. I still can't really believe and understand how, because Bayern was so much better in that final. Even the semi-final against Juventus, there were a time where they really against the and Arsenal were leading the league that season for a very long time. So, I felt fifth is good for United. And then Bayern 2020, on paper, it looks amazing. I think it's 25, 25 wins and one draw in, tw in, in the 26th game in 2020, after the turn of the year. But remember is that, Final eight in lockdown, no home and away games. It's just on one neutral game. And I felt that kind of diminished a little bit maybe the merit of them winning that Champions League and also the BPH in the final. So fourth is good for them. Fourth is good for them. Uh, but yeah, Ansi Flick still for his first season, he took, he took charge from Kovac in October. Amazing achievement in itself. And then the top three, which to be fair, you can see them in the way you want. I think they, they're quite all very close to each other. But, in third is the other Bayern side, the, the 2013 one, the one with Robin and Ribery, the Eubankers one, incredible team really that won the league, 25 points clear, destroyed Barcelona of course in the semi-final with 7-0, uh, a great a, a score, sorry. Amazing team, Lewandowski, 55 goals and 10 assists I think that year, incredible. But I still think that they are behind slightly the City team, the one that we've seen this season, they had to fight off Arsenal to win the, the title. They had an easy run until the final in the FA Cup in the derby. And then this Champions League, especially the semi-final and quarter-final against Bayern and Real Madrid. And then this final where they maybe didn't have the control that they showed before, but still managed to win it. But I feel really, and it's just me, but the 2015 Barca team that did the treble, the MSN, of course, up front, Iniesta in midfield with Busquets and Rakitic. That team was just phenomenal the way they won the league as well, of course, against Real Madrid, with Enrique, the manager. I think 94 points and 92 points they had together. The Copa, the Copa del Rey win was 
you know, that, that kind of campaign. And then in the Champions League, the 3-1 win in the final. Uh, I think they won 5-2 in aggregate the semi-final, 4-1 in aggregate the, the, the quarterfinals. They were so dominant, really, everywhere. I think they lost one game in the, uh, in the group stage and maybe, maybe one game in, against Arsenal in the, uh, in, the, in the last 16. But apart from that, they were just so good and so much better than everybody else. That's why, for me, the Barca 2015 has to be the best of those 10 amazing teams. Sorry, Jules, we lost you there. Can you start at number 10 again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> What's the name of that instrument? The accordion? Oh, if I never hear that again. Jules needs a good algorithm. Yeah, yeah. play it again. I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> The bad yeah. with that. Uh, Luis, uh, do you agree with with uh, with Jules's? Uh, let's keep it to the top five, shall we? <laughs> No, no, no. To be honest, I'm, I'm, uh, we have to congratulate uh, Jules War because the research has been fantastic. All the data that he has given us is is fantastic. And I totally agree. Maybe he just mentioned about the 2013-2020 Bayern Munich. You can agree to disagree, go up and down. But uh, for me, the best team that I ever seen. And it's not because of the flair, because probably Barcelona from 2010, 2011, it was better with Guardiola in full flow. That fantastic team that maybe even win the, the, the trouble, but it was amazing. I think that Luis Enrique in 2015 was probably the best team I ever seen because they had the, the chance of uh, playing that possessional game, but also the transition when having the players like Neymar, Messi, and uh, Luis Suarez up front, it was just amazing to watch them play. So, yeah, I totally agree with those 10. Again, up and down one or two teams, but definitely a fantastic job. Well done, Jules. Shaq in his slot. Bring it, Shaq. I, I've, got, I've got no kind of criticism <laughs> against Jules. He never criticizes my top 10. So why would I criticize no, no, him? Just search to go into his top 10 to compare to what you offer up every I, I, I Mine is more science-based. Oh, really? Yeah, That's it's an yes. algorithm. Algorithm. Uh, it's an algorithm. Yes. I'm, I'm with Luis. I, I thought that 2015 Barcelona team, that, that front three was as good, I, I think, as we've seen in, in world football. Um, that's, that's about the only criticism you can, you can come up with. But then number one. Then number, number one. So what are you <laughs> criticizing, Shaq? Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> so you withdraw the criticism. I withdraw the criticism. <laughs> so as if you weren't paying attention. Yeah, 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 the yeah, corner was killing me. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> the corner was killing me. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Did you have a nap? Uh, uh, did you have a little. No, you couldn't nap to that. A long <laughs> play. <laughs> oh man. <sighs> I can't remember. Anything. Sure, Barcelona, 2015. Go on. Okay. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.